we hit the acting section. I noticed some nominees in New York. I think they might have gone home. We'd better check. Let's switch over to New York and see what's playing there. <laughs> well, thank you, Bob. All the nominees and possible winners are now here. We're all ready and willing. We just hope we'll come up with a, with a winner soon. And we all want to send our word to the beautiful ladies out there to stop worrying about television. They look simply lovely. To keep Johnny Green happy, I'll give it back to you in just a moment. We're swinging around to see a few of the nominees who have arrived. See Shirley Booth back there. Uh, Kim Hunter has arrived, a winner from last year. Uh, Mercedes McCambridge is still here. You look fine, Conrad. Very fine. <laughs> Looked a little like Bobby Driscoll there, didn't you think? <laughs> yes, that's right, Bob. <laughs> Wonderful, Conrad. To present the I award to the best supporting actor, a certain Mrs. Miniver, better known as award winning actress Greer Garson. Those nominated for the best performance by an actor in a supporting role are Richard Burton, my cousin Rachel. 20th Century Fox, Arthur Honeycutt, The Big Sky, Winchester, RKO, Victor McLaughlin, The Quiet Man, Argosy, Republic, Jack Palance, Sudden Fear, Kaufman, RKO, Anthony Quinn, Viva Zapata, 20th Century Fox. And the winner? Ah, in the absence of the winner, Mrs. Anthony Quinn, We'll accept the award for Anthony King. I can hardly believe I'm here. I'm sorry that Tony couldn't be here, but when I let him know today by telephone. I know he'll be a very happy man. Thank you very much. Those calls must be wonderful. 